A high-tech solution at a Papillion crosswalk looked good on paper. After the money the city put down and the fancy lights, everything was in place. But they soon realized drivers were just breezing by. Instead of giving up, city officials decided to make the display bigger and hopefully better. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. It's all in the name of safety, trying to keep walkers from getting hit and keeping drivers alert. Now at 10, reporter Miranda Christian has this update tonight. This crosswalk has gotten a lot of attention. Sitting in the middle of Papillion along 84th Street, traffic seems to just fly by. On Monday through Friday, it's crazy busy. Trying to cross the street there was just ridiculous. This past summer, the city installed new lights into the street, and when people wanted to cross, the lights were supposed to slow cars down. But that wasn't the case. We thought it would help to try to be able to get across there, but it didn't help in regards to nobody, nobody was able to see it. The city realized that people weren't noticing just the flashing lights in the street, so they also added flashing lights on the crosswalk side. The crosswalk was working good at night, but during the day it wasn't as visible to traffic. Papillion City spokesman Trenton Albers says the added lights on the poles have seemed to bring more awareness to the crosswalk. They were bright. They're super bright. The city wants to make the downtown area convenient for foot traffic, and they don't want to make people walk down to the traffic light in order to cross the street. When they see the lights flashing, yield to pedestrians, but once the pedestrians have cleared, traffic is good to proceed. They also added speed boxes to make people more aware of their speed as they get into the 25 mile per hour zone. I think people can use it without having to worry about only going to this intersection right here. That was Miranda Christian reporting. 